Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So you guys know that I've already made a video on this particular Pemco streetlight before. But I want to do another video talking about just the patent because the uh, fixture that's uh, described there is very different from this one. And if you, if you don't understand the differences, you can't really under, um, appreciate how cool the original design was before they came up with this one. So let's go ahead and take a look at that patent. So I've got the fixture pulled up here. This is the patent. And when you first look at it, it looks just like the fixture that we see, but it is in fact very different. The first point that I want to make is the latch for the door with the glass. This latch, instead of the one that we are used to seeing with the round push button on the bottom of the fixture, this integrates the actual push button into the top housing of the fixture. As you can see by the uh, number 40 uh, representing the little bu button, there would be a little indent on the front of the housing that would be where you would push in to release the door. That little U-sheet piece of metal is what holds it all together and that little uh, piece of metal that sticks out cast into the housing is something that's still present on the Pemco fixtures, and I pointed that out in my video. So I do think that they tried to make them, but I don't know if it ever made it out into production. So this is the next weird point, which is not apparent on the existing fixtures. This is a little terminal lock that's uh, made into the top housing that you would screw your leads into, and the ballast would have two little terminals that would connect it and complete the circuit. This works a lot like Lime Materials Dusk to Dawner fixture, if you are familiar with that. And this makes a lot more sense, but it is very weird. And I don't, I don't know how reliable this system would be, but it certainly is interesting. Now the slip fitter on this fixture is also very weird. So we are used to seeing a ring with two grub screws that secure a two inch pipe. Uh, this is also meant for only a two inch pipe, but this uses no grub screws. This is using a roller bearing that allows you to roll the fixture onto the arm, supposedly, in a fairly in, uh, convenient manner. And the two screws that stick out of the top of the fixture are what you actually use to secure it in place. And then by adjusting the tensions, you can level the fixture, but it has no exact securing. It's just held in place by friction. So those are some kind of weird um, differences between this and the patent. I really wish there was a model like the patent had claimed that existed because that would be completely unlike any other streetlight made. This one is still unique, but it conforms a lot more to the traditional style uh, than that version did. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. That's really all I have to say. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.